Hi everyone! We are going to start art today. I'm hoping that before you started watching this video that you got all your materials together. You only need a few items. You need a pencil or a sharpie and you need to find out if it's okay if you use a sharpie in your house and a white piece of paper and a place to sit down and draw. That's all you need, okay? So we're going to get started. Um, I want to just let you know that today's drawing is a quick drawing. Um, if you get stuck or if I'm moving faster than you can move, that, then you are moving, just pause the video and then catch up and then push start and we'll resume. Right where you left off, you can just start again, okay? So we're going to be doing a perspective drawing um, of a mountainside, so a road going into the mountains, and it's going to be a quick one. This is just going to be our first one to see how we all do, and kind of get familiar with drawing again, if nobody's been out there drawing. Um, and that's it. So we'll get started, okay? I'm so excited. Okay, everyone, we're going to get started. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I'm going to be using a Sharpie and I'm going to be using a pencil for this drawing. I'm just going to be doing the first line with the pencil. You can do the entire thing in pencil if you want. Um, the reason I'm starting out in pencil is because I'm going to be drawing a horizontal line across the paper and I want to be able to erase some of the lines um, that are going to be where some trees are going to be. Um, but most of the draw drawing I'm going to be using this Sharpie and really I'm using it because it's really dark and it will show up on the paper for you to see, okay? So I'm going to start out with drawing a straight line, a, a horizontal line um, across the paper. And I'm coming down about two-thirds of the way down the paper and I'm just going to draw a nice line across. I don't know if you can see that, it's pretty light, um, but it, it's right two-thirds of the way down. And then right about, not quite in the middle, just a little bit over from the middle, maybe more, a little more than one-third of the way over, I'm just going to draw a little dot. And that's going to be my starting place for a lot of the perspective. So like I mentioned um, earlier, this is going to be a road that goes into the mountains. So we're going to be starting out by drawing the road. And we start where that dot is, and we're going to be doing a line that kind of curves down like that. And then we're going to go back up and not directly back over to the dot, just a little, a little closer to that dot. Um, we're going to be doing another curved line that goes down to the other corner of your paper. And that is your road. <laughs> okay, so now we have the road. Um, now what I want you to do is we're going to be placing some trees onto this piece of paper. And you can do any kind of trees you want. I'm going to do some big puffy trees that are sort of like maybe apple trees or... Um, fruit trees, maybe, a you know, um, puffy oak trees. You could also do evergreen trees, like a Christmas tree, um, or you could do palm trees, any kind of trees you want. But I'm going to do um, trees that are kind of puffy because I want to put some colored fruit in them. So um, as you know, that when you're looking out into a view of down, going down the road and you see trees, the trees that are closer to you are larger and the trees that are farther away from you are smaller. So we're going to start out by drawing a large tree. And I'm just going to draw a little tree trunk like that. And then I'm going to do some puffy, fun tree shapes like that. I'm going to go off the paper like that. Okay? And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to draw a tree trunk, just two little lines like that, and then a puffy tree like that, okay? And then as the trees get farther back, they get smaller. So we're going to draw another puffy tree, but these are going to be smaller. And they can go behind the tree. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. 
And remember, if I'm going too fast, just pause and then catch up and then hit start again, okay? Okay, and so there's another tree. And I'm going to put one more little tiny tree way back here. And another one here. And I'm just doing little movements, little trees, little trunks. See how that already looks like it's, the trees are pretty far away? Okay, so now where I drew that horizontal line, and this is the reason I wanted to do the first of it in pencil, I'm going to be erasing the pencil line that goes through this tree and that tree, but I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to make that horizontal line right here, and I'm going to go from where that road is right across like that. So see? Okay, now I'm going to add some mountains back there. And I'm going to do really tall mountains that are kind of just sort of fun and happy. And I'm going to come just a little bit over from where the road is. And I'm going to do a big mountain like this. Okay? And then I'm going to even put one mountain behind that mountain like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to do a mountain and I'm going to come all the way down to the ground and then I'm going to do one big mountain behind here and I'm going to come all the way down to the road. Now I think it needs some clouds in the sky so I'm going to do some big puffy clouds like that. Maybe one over here. And maybe even one that's sort of behind that mountain, right, like that. And I think it would be nice if we saw the sunset right beyond the road, like that. Now, what I also think would be nice is if you saw the middle divider on this road. So... I'm going to go ahead and do another line here and another line here. Okay. Now, we're pretty much done with this drawing. You could aim to put um, a couple little birds in the sky, like that. Maybe one over here. Maybe one closer to the sunset down there. And I would say we're done. So what, what I would like to see you do is once this is done, once your drawing is done, is to color this. You could use um, your pencil. If you don't have anything else available, you could use your pencil and you could do different shades of the pencil lead, you know, from really light gray to really dark gray. Um, but you could use colored pencils, colored markers, crayons. Crayons work really great. Um, and just color it. And, you know, do, do it crazy or do it in realistic colors. You know, you could have blue trees and you could have pink mountains. But, um, you know, I think even just like apple trees would be cute. You know, just different kinds of apple trees. Like you could have green apples and red apples. And if you do um, want to make it sort of look more like a perspective, remember when you're looking way out into the distance, things get lighter and lighter in color. So, for instance, um, if you color these two mountains, it would be good to do the, the mountain that's closer to you even a little darker than the one that's farther away. So you could do these like a light purple and this a really light purple. And the trees could be green with a lighter green and even a lighter green as they get farther away. You could put some grass, you know, and you could have some grass growing into the road a little bit. Grass around the trees. So there you go. Now, um, when you're done with them, Miss Silva, if she wants to see them, she might ask you to show them to everybody. So try to get them ready. And next week we'll do another drawing. And um, we'll do this all over again. Okay? 
Thank you. So fun. Bye.